NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. Eastern Commerce is my second home. You know, we come here, it's our school. We gotta deal with the business first in the classroom. And after that, it's all about basketball. We gotta come deal with the business on the court. Eastern Commerce is, just means family. Like, everyone's together. Everyone's helping each other, trying to succeed. Eastern Commerce is a second home. Like, we all come here. We love playing ball. Each day of practice, we work, we work at it. We do everything together. We go to school together, we study together for all our classes, and we come here and play ball together. We all leave, and we all do things together on the weekend. It creates a real bond. It's really more than basketball when you come here. Uh, there's a lot of history behind the school, and we're just trying to keep it going. We have a legacy you know, to build up to. We have to make our own legacy. We have to go hard every time we get in the gym. Every time we get in the game, we gotta play our hardest. It's our last year too, so you know, we gotta make a name for ourselves. Well, it's... Uh been a 40-year involvement uh, with some of the finest people and uh, a tremendous amount of success based on what their contributions have meant to the program. I, I described it in, in your article as a, being a, the perfect storm and a storm consists of uh, droplets, contributions from all, all sources and the more people gave, the more there was uh, in, in terms of success of the program. Um, for me, uh, Eastern Commerce epitomizes what basketball really is. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> the dedication and the hard work that you put in to, for the love of the game. People come into our gym, they don't realize the work that we put into this little box, you know, and uh, it takes a real tough mentality and a real tough spirit to actually come in here and compete through a season. Um, for me, that's Eastern Commerce basketball, true and true. You know, you've got to leave it here. There's nowhere to hide inside this gym. You know, you have to be a tough player inside and out. Get back! They're struggling on the defensive end, you understand? So we're taking away their lanes, and that's great for us. But now we're giving up stupid baskets on transition, yeah? Do what we gotta do offensively, get your ass back if you don't get the ball, yeah? So here we go. Hard work on three. One, two, three, hard work. Well, this season is the last season, and we have to live up to the Eastern Commerce legacy. Guys before us, offset champions, city champions, done great things, have gone on to D1, and we need to keep that up and finish our final year. It means a lot. It's the last season, my last season, and basically Eastman's last season, and we're just trying to go with a good, a good reputation and a, good, and a bang. It means everything, because it's our last season. We're trying to do it big. That's why we're working so hard in the gym every day, and we're just trying to give it our all. Well, each day, it starts here. We practice every day, work hard. Like, we're just trying to push each other to make each other better, that's all. It's the last season, right? So we're the last bunch. So like, we, we just have to, we, we, can't, we can't let it slip out of our hands. We have to, we want to get to the top, you know, and we can get to the top for sure. With our team, I know like the hunger that we have within us, we can get to the top for sure. I feel in the beginning of the season we struggled a little bit and then we pulled it together and continuing to get stronger as a team and hopefully by the end of the year we're as strong as we can be. At the beginning of the season we weren't in the talks of being one of the best teams but I think we made a, our noise out there from tournaments, previous tournaments and we're doing good right now. I think there's a lot, a lot, more, to, um, a lot more to come. Um, we let some games slip but we haven't, we haven't played to our full potential yet. That's what I believe. 
we can win a lot of games that we lost. We we slip. We already let a couple slip in our hands, but that's where you get better, right? You learn from your mistakes. So it, that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll get it back for sure. We haven't. We're, we're not where we want to be right now, but we will be there soon, for sure. I think I want it remembered by the, the performance of, of the individuals, the players themselves, what they've made of uh, Toronto basketball. I think they've made a tremendous contribution to the growth and development of the game and popularizing the way it's played today. They run hard, they run fast, but they also run smart. And uh, the success that has endured over the full 40 years we've uh, we've been blessed with many talented people who bought into uh, what, what the coaches have tried to do and it, it, it's, a, it's a combination of factors that have led to that legacy. You know for me personally I'm proud to be a part of this team, I'm proud to have this team be the last run. Um, whatever happens happens and we, we, I believe we hold it in our own destiny so we're just going to ride the wave and then enjoy it to the end. Thank you.